So we're beginning our discussion about the angle sums of polygons. And each polygon, depending on how many sides it has, the angles will always add up to a specific number. So the interior angles of a triangle, you should know this, always add up to 180 degrees. Now, you could take the time to take any given shape and draw diagonals in there and split it into triangles and go through the process of figuring out how many degrees there were in every single angle, okay? Um, so we're gonna talk about how many triangles you would get if you did that, and then we're gonna talk about how to actually figure out the degrees without doing that. So a pentagon can be, div can be divided into three triangles by drawing all of the diagonals from one vertex. Okay, so that means if I had a five-sided five shape and I drew trying, um, lines from this one vertex to every other vertex I possibly could, I would get three triangles. So in each triangle, there is 180 degrees. So that means there's a total of 540 degrees inside of that pentagon. A um, octagon can be um, split into six triangles, and a dodecagon can be split into ten. Again, there is a formula that you can use this, and that's where it skips down to page seven. It says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon with n sides is the formula 180 times n minus 2. This formula right here you will be using over and over and over again on your quiz and in your notes. So I would make sure that you have it written down somewhere, you highlight it, underline it, do something so that you do not lose it. Now, it asks you this question up here. I want you to mark this out because we don't actually need to know this. But what I want to ask you is how do you find the measure of one interior angle? How to find the measure of one interior angle. I just gave you the formula to find the measure of all the interior angles, the sum of them. So if you want to find the measure of just one of them, then all you have to do is divide the total by the number of sides. You divide the total by the number of sides. And if you use some common sense, the, okay, think about the next question. It says, look at the decagon on this slide. Now, we don't have a decagon, but a decagon has 10 sides. So the more sides that you add into your polygon, as you get to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 107, and you keep going, the more sides you have, the more and more and more your shape is actually going to look like a circle. The more sides you add in, the closer you get to becoming a circle. So we've talked about interior angles. Now we're going to talk about exterior angles. Exterior angles are outside. Exterior angles are a of a polygon is an angle that forms a linear pair with one of the polygon's interior angles. So if I give you a triangle, what they're saying is that this angle and this angle form a linear pair. Linear pair means they add up to 180. So if I know that this one is 70, then I can easily deduce that this one on the outside is 110 because those two, again, have to add up to 180. So the measures of an exterior angle and the adjacent, which means next to it, interior angle, sum to 180 because they form a linear pair. Now, if you were to add up all of the exterior, pol exterior angles of a convex polygon, they're always going to add up to 360 degrees. So if I were to continue to draw my exterior angles of this shape, that means if I were to add this angle on the outside, 
this angle on the outside and this angle on the outside, they would all add up to 108 or 360 degrees. Those three together will always add up to 180. If it was a five-sided figure, they're always going to add up to 180. I'm sorry, 360. If it was 10 sides, they're always going to add up to 360. So this next question says, what is the measure of one exterior angle of a regular 13 -agon? Well, we know that the total air, um, angle measure is 360. I just want one of them, and I know there's 13 total, so I can divide 360 by 13. And I'm going to get about 27.7. Now, that is an approximation because it's rounded a little bit, but that's pretty darn close to right. So if we know that one exterior angle of a polygon measures 40 degrees, what is the sum of the polygon's interior measures? Well, that's a complicated question because it requires a lot of work. So if we know one angle, let's start with the beginning part, one exterior angle is 40. Well, I know all the exteriors is equal to 360 and one of them is 40, so I can do 360 divided by 40 and um, it, that'll tell me how many sides there are which is nine sides. Then if I want to find the sum of the interior angles, well, I know that I can use the formula n minus two times 180, where n represents the number of sides, so I would do nine minus two times 180, and plug that in the calculator, and it's gonna give me 1280 degrees. So that would be the answer to the question. Looking at your checkup, number one, says to find the sum of the interior angles of the regular polygon. So they've given you this formula here. Do not forget this formula. I would also probably write the sum of the exterior is always 360, because it's important to remember that. So a pentagon we know has five sides. So I can use this formula, my sum formula, and do 5 minus 2 times 180. And I can plug that in the calculator, and I'm going to get 540 degrees. For number 3, this is a 13 gone, which means it has 13 sides. So I can do 13 minus 2 times 180. times 180, and when I plug that in the calculator, I'm going to get 1980, 1980 degrees. All right, number five, it says find the measure of each exterior angle of the regular polygon. So we know that exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. And this time it wants me to find the measure of one of those. Well, a heptagon we know has seven sides. So to find that, we do 360 divided by seven. And 360 divided by seven is going to give me about 51.4. Seven and eight say given the measure of each exterior angle, we're going to find out how many sides it has. So we know number seven says it's the exterior is 30 degrees. Well, if I'm given the exterior, you may want to write this down because it's going to be on your quiz. If I'm given the exterior, all I have to do is divide, if I'm given the exterior degree, let's put that, be more specific. All I have to do to find the answer is do 360 divided by the one exterior angle. So that means for this case, I can do 360 divided by 30. And when I do that, I'm going to get 12. So that means there is 12 sides. So if the exterior angle is 30, then the shape has 12 sides. For 9 and 10, these require a lot more work. So 9 says each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 45 degrees. And then it says, what is the sum of the interior angles? Well, I know if it's asking me for the sum of the interiors, I'm going to have to use the formula n minus 2 times 180. 
where n is the number of sides. The problem is I don't know the number of sides. What I do know is the exterior angle is 45 degrees. So I can do 360 divided by 45, just like we did on problem seven, and I'm going to get eight sides. Then I can plug that in to my formula, eight minus two times 180, and it's going to give me 1060. No, I'm sorry, 1080. So there, in a, if the exterior angle is 45 degrees, there's going to be 10, 1080 degrees on the inside.